Hey you! I'm filming like this because I'm way too embarrassed to put my camera somewhere and film. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try. So I'm in uh, I'm in Rusafa, Rusafasa, I don't know, I just keep forgetting. And as you can see, I have my comfy clothes on because I just want to change and do everything. But this is a place to be if you want to go vintage shopping, at least that's what they told me. So here I am and I'm on a mission. Today is the day that I'm really going to try to find something. My mission is to find like a really good vintage denim jacket. A Levi's jeans because I'm a sucker for those Levi's jeans but I can't find the perfect one and I've seen something like the the Nike vintage sweaters and I would love to find an oversized men's blouse Ralph Lauren or a Tommy Hilfiger I don't know but we're gonna see <laughs> to wait till today and the question here is if I've succeeded in the things that I wanted to find and let's just list them here let's just see if we found it the first place that I went to was actually I did not expect that it would be so good but it was so good like I immediately found a lot of things there but I didn't buy everything because I really hate not to have the option to return items because I'm a really indecisive person. And the first one was, I don't think I can pronounce this, it's called Ayekle Vintage. I'm going to write it down, it's, it's one of the best vintage shops I've been to so I would highly recommend going there if you have the chance to. This store was owned by a lady, she did everything custom made or custom made, she customized it. So you had a lot of sweaters that were kind of cropped. She also had like the Nike sweaters but not the ones that I wanted. The sizes were not right, otherwise I would have bought one. What I did find is something that I was looking for but was not really on my list because it was something that I kind of wanted to avoid buying. It's this sweater and oh my god, I think this is the perfect Christmas sweater. Look, this is what I mean. She cropped this sweater and she like an elastic band so that it would be fitted and everything is washed. She took so much care about all the stuff she had there so i really enjoyed being there i think if you buy this at like a regular store you would pay around maybe 100 euros for this quality it's so thick i don't know it feels amazing i will i will put it on afterwards and this was only 15 euros can you believe it i found the perfect levi's vintage jeans and the thing that I really liked is usually you buy vintage and then you have to adjust it at home, like customize it to make it fit. But she already did that for you. So the length is perfectly cut, like really perfectly. 
that's the reason why I got it. And around the waist, it's perfect. Like she did this. I think you have to find the right sweater to put on because it kind of is a bit inverted peplum. And this was just 25 euros. And this is absolutely my favorite. It's a bit oversized baggy, but that's actually what I was looking for. So the second one that I got to was also one that I really liked. It was a bit smaller and the selection wasn't that big, but she had a lot of biker jackets and they were all sorted from color, like lighter to dark. And she knew exactly which one I needed. She pulled out like five or six denim jackets for me to try on. And one of them I actually bought and the prices were again, really good this one is not branded i was hoping for like a levi's one but it actually doesn't matter because it looks so good this vintage store is called fin fintaker this was just 25 euros i absolutely love the color it's like the perfect denim color what i really liked about this store is the owner was really nice and really helpful and you could tell that she picked those items because everything was so coordinated and kind of in the same style i don't know if i'm going to regret that it's so oversized but it is something that i'm going to wear quite often i think so i only spent 65 euros on those three things overall job well done before I'm going to try these on, don't forget to like and subscribe this video and make sure to leave a comment on uh, vintage shopping and what you think and if you've ever been to this area and what you kind of love to shop. Let's go and try it on. watching and don't forget to like subscribe and share and i see you next week like subscribe and share